If you're somebody like I used to be that hits the snooze button, that kills your productivity for at least four hours. Let me explain. You have to understand this. This is a productivity killer that most of us don't know about. It has to do with waking up. Now, when you think about being productive, if you got a big day and you got a bunch of stuff you need to get done, most of us focus on when. When do I need to get up in order to get everything done? That's not what you need to focus on. The thing that really impacts your productivity is how. How do you wake up? The snooze button creates a mental state, a state in your brain that is called sleep inertia. It's so bad it actually has a name. Here's what it is. When you and I go to bed, we sleep in cycles. We sleep in cycles of like 90 to 110 minutes all night long. And right before you wake up, the sleep cycles, they stop and your body goes into a wake up mode, okay? Your brain is starting to slowly wake up so that it can start the day. When your alarm goes off, you're in wake up mode. Your brain is now ready to do its best work. However, if the alarm goes off and you hit the snooze button, guess what you've just done? You've just made your brain go back into a sleep cycle. Your brain is now in a mode that takes about 90 to 110 minutes to complete. You just rebooted the system. So when your alarm goes off and you get up 15 minutes later, you're now in major trouble. And the reason why you're in trouble is because your brain is still locked into a sleep cycle. And this is where sleep inertia comes in. You know how when you hit the snooze button, you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, I did not get enough sleep last night. You feel so groggy. You kind of feel like this mental hangover. That is sleep inertia. Here's the deal. Your brain, the cortic region of your brain, which is responsible for decision-making, attention, alertness, self-control, that sucker is still in a sleep cycle. And now that you're awake, it's gonna take the cortal region almost four hours to actually snap out of that sleep cycle. That's why you feel groggy. It's because the part of your brain that's responsible for critical thinking and being alert, it's actually still asleep. If you don't already do this, You've got to train yourself to be the kind of person that doesn't use the snooze alarm. Because when you hit the snooze alarm, you're not only putting your brain in a state of sleep inertia, you are directly impacting your productivity, your alertness, and your brain processing for the first four hours that you're awake. That's making life harder. I'm all about making life easier. So tomorrow, when the alarm goes off, I don't care how tired you are, I don't care how much you don't want to get out of bed, I want you to remember this. I want you to remember that you've got to wake up and give your brain its best shot to do its best work. And the way you're going to do it is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, turn off that alarm and get up. Seize the day and go be productive. <laughs>